Why do all girls wear them stupid things on their head like that? Darren! <laughs> it's Sunday morning and you've got four minutes left if you want a breakfast. Four minutes? <laughs> so of course instead of a breakfast we're going to go for a Sunday roast vegetarian one. So tell me if it's wrong to have a Sunday roast with no meat in it. What do you think dearest? Mm, no, not wrong. <laughs> And that's coming from a fully out and out carnival meat eater extraordinaire. This is a nice lot of sunshine again today. Shame it's cold though. We're back into coat weather, well, jacket weather look. Not much of a change in tradition. We're heading to Weatherspoons for food on a Sunday again. When I woke up this morning, I thought we'll drive down the coast and go somewhere really nice. Then I remembered the car's dead. The freaking car is dead. Which is your fault for driving it like a pleb for the last six months. <laughs> How about we go to this place here, baby? If they do Sunday vegetarian roast, then we'll go. What's that? 50p says they don't. Well, look at the menu. Um, looking at this, Bev wins the 50p, but they have got roast loin of cod for £22, Welsh beef for £25. Those prices are more than some people's monthly rent round here. So anyway, back to the car. We're going to get that fixed tomorrow. I'm going to go down to James's at half nine in the morning. Eek town is absolutely dead on a Sunday. You'd think the benefit office was open. Yum, 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 imminent roast appearing. Let's go and get fat. Sit here in the window. Go on then, sod off, get me my food. <laughs> you know I don't mean it really. That was quick, well done. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, Beverly Mason, you got vegetarian as well. Good girl. I think she's just trying to impress me, really. You will not get into my pants that easily, miss. The meat substitute we get might look like cat sick, but it's really, really tasty. It's like got peppercorn and pumpkin and stuff in it. Mmm, Beverly, that is disgraceful. You finished. Why have you got goose pimples all over you, babe? It's not that cold in there, is it? And what are you looking at there? Film times? Yes. Which one are we going to see? Devil, Dinner for Schmucks, or Eat, Pray, Love? Eat, Pray, Love. Oh, OK. Oh, fat after that. We're going to get a taxi to the cinema. Yeah, just to Cineworld, please, mate. Oh, I think Because it starts in 45 minutes, we thought we'd get a taxi because it's a three mile walk or five minute ride. The new bridge, this is. Yeah, it's clouding up a bit, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah, thanks very much. As we've got a little while before the film starts, we're going to go to Tesco and get ourselves some snacks. And why are we going to get sweets from Tesco's and not the cinema? Because cinemas are rip-offs. <laughs> Red Bull chewing gum and chocolate raisins. Everything a cinema goer needs. I don't see why we're going to the cinema. She's telling me about her dreams last night. Apparently her mum and dad got divorced in her dream. Then her dad bought a castle. <laughs> and then my dad jumped off the top into the lake, which was something about 100 foot drop. He did a bow and went wee all the way down. <laughs> Actually, I don't like this dream anymore. I wasn't involved in it. I wasn't there. She hadn't even met me, apparently. So this film we're going to go and see, it's called Eat, Pray, Love, and it's a chick flick. I'm going to see a chick flick. That's what happens when you get a free cinema pass. You go and see every film that's out. Here's my card. I'll show you it again. It's got a funny photo on it, hasn't it? I'll get unlimited cinema views with this for a year. It's a shame our local's such a crap cinema, though. <laughs> Screen five, moving me up, baby. <sighs> She's looking forward to a chick flick. I don't know about me. Please turn off your phone. Thank you. So, do you feel uplifted and enlightened, just like the movie poster said? I never watch a film with the word pray in the title ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this song. Yeah, so that was a lot about God and stuff and uh, praying and that sort of stuff and spirituality and that sort of stuff. Uh, not sure I could recommend it to. Go and see if you've got a free cinema pass. It's got a good soundtrack. I might download that. I think it had a few sparks for a film like that, but at the end of the day, it's about a really annoying bird. <laughs> yeah, it was acted well, Julia Roberts and all that, but the person that wrote the book is a real gullible twat. Walkies! I forgot what not having a car's like. We've got to walk everywhere or skip. I skip. So being a Sunday, we've had a lion, we've had a Sunday roast, we've been to the cinema. What else do we do on a Sunday? You, my dear, have to get your LRPS sorted, so we're going to do that when we get home. Bev's LRPS assessment is at the Royal Photographic Society in Bath on the 8th of October, which we're going to go down and watch. So you're not allowed to fail, because if you fail, it will make a really bad video. 
and we've got 25 images to go through and select and narrow that down to 10. Then we've got to get them printed big, then we've got to get them mounted so it's all ready for the trip up there. And guess who's going to be mounting them? Our little smurfy friend, Gemma Tremlett. I didn't see this in yesterday's vlog, but have a look over the other side of the bridge. Wow, that is a tremendous building site. Look at all the stuff. And I can understand why the Pikeys decided to move in just over there. I bet they skim that yard for materials good and proper every evening. I've showed you a million times already, but they've camped up in and around this building. I want to show you their little camp. If they see me filming you, they'll come after me with axes and guns. I think I'm risking life just filming this for you. There's barking dogs. Oh, disgusting. They've got a little Jenny running over there. I wonder where they're stealing all the fuel from. I'm going to show you how close they are to us. That's their camp and our house is just there. So you can understand why I don't want to mess with them. Back at our house now, you can still just about hear the dogs barking. You got the keys bent. <laughs> Let's have a look at our LRPS then. So, how are you doing and which ones are you going to edit out? Don't put the iPad away pretending you weren't playing on it. I hope you're going to be submitting prints bigger than these, babe. <laughs> well? Is that a cup of tea? <laughs> well, I like this one, this one, this one and this one and this one. But that's probably because I told you to take all of them. Some of these pictures are amazing, and considering you've only taken them in the last few months, Portugal, Europe and Vegas, who remembers this one in the Aria Hotel? Isn't the lighting lovely? And the fantastic soft lighting and the shape of that queue, the study of human beings queuing. These compositions are looking great, Beverly. And what's this? Have you got a thing for girls and boobs? I do hope you're not doing too much Photoshop processing on the computer. I'm sure everyone knows by now it's much nicer to get the photos right in the camera rather than fix them on the computer later. Shakshi, where is that Red Rock Canyon? Right, I'm going to go back downstairs. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. Well, make sure that you get all these images sorted by the end of the day, okay? <laughs> oh, great. Hot. Oh, dear. I do hope she gets some done in time. It's not just about processing, picking and selecting. We've got to get them ready for printing as well and send them away to get them printed as well. None of the university printers are open. Ah! Oh, and this has all got to be done by Friday. That's when we're going to go up to see Gemma in Exeter. Right, the lady wants a tea, does she? She's such a gay with her tea. She likes Earl Grey, hot, just like they have on Star Trek. Look, I've got to show you this. I just opened the fridge to get the milk out and I discovered the pizza I bought yesterday. I totally forgot about it. 14 inch of deliciousness. It won't impress Bev much anyway. I'll give her 14 inches of deliciousness every single night. Just going to show you this sunset quick before I take the tea upstairs. Wow! I love a nice bit of golden light on my face. Mm. <laughs> you know what I miss most about winter? You can't see shadows like this anymore. You only get them in summer. One Earl Grey for Her Highness. Hurrah. The light's really nice in here as well. Wow! What would you like my advice on then? I'm not sure which one to pick to balance <laughs> out to. Be right back, help needed here, photography expert. Uh. Right, first of all, scrap that one, delete that one, it's crap. Next, delete, next, delete. These are rubbish, you're gonna have to do better than this, Bev. I've left her upstairs to it, it's getting late, should I put the pizza in? Mm. Cool, that is absolutely badass. <laughs> it only just fits in the oven. Ah, it's been a nice, quiet and resting day. I'm going to have to get out of bed early if I want to go and get this car fixed in the morning. 9.30, I've got to be there. Do you know what else? I've only seen Bev today. Nobody else. I've seen people in the street, obviously, at the cinema and that, but no one else. After I've had this piece, well, I may put the phone down and read the latest book that's come in by Robert Adams, Beauty and Photography. Wow, do you know what? I've just had a comment on my very first video, day one of 365, from this guy here, VS Skills or, or something like that. Do me a favour, would you, because most of you watching won't have seen that one. Go back to day one of 365 and look how awful it is. I've come a long way since then, even considering today's video is quite boring. Someone's coming downstairs, who's it going to be? Ding! Hello, do you know what that smell is? Pizza. Yes. <laughs> do you think we should clear some of the crap off the kitchen table? <laughs> Woohoo, that is one meg pizza. I've had every different type of vegetable on it, apart from sweet corn. Mm. And so the age-old question arises again. 
Who gets the last slice of pizza? <laughs> I do, of course. Nah. What are you going to go and do now? Finish up your red RPS? Mm. Good. So go on, off you go, go do your work. <laughs> and that's enough hanging around with us all day today. It's been a boring one, but we needed the rest. We needed to relax. It's day 265, I think. Check above. Uh, 365. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow when I've got to sort the car out. Bye! Mm -hmm. So the animal clinic. No, I don't think you should have a one with a cock in. <laughs>